Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful Monday morning here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, to be precise. Wherever you are around the globe, especially on the continent of Africa, yes. Well, I've seen one of my brothers from South Africa. Yeah, I hail you. I hail you from Southern Africa, South Africa precisely. In any part of the Africa continent you are, a very good morning to you. Here in Southeast Asia, we are in the afternoon, actually, let me be honest. In Europe, you should be in your morning as well. In America, you are still in early dawn. Dear friend, welcome to the channel. It is Monday. Monday, yes. The day that is the most difficult of all the days of the week. Dear friend, it is difficult for even me to get up on Monday and get things started for the week. It's not easy. But hey, like I always say, it's better you are up and you get yourself off the hooks. Get something done. Achieve something great this week. And happy new month. We are in the second half of the year. Look, don't ever think the year is far away to, uh, to end. We are in the second half of the year, 1st July. My goodness, so soon. And guess what? I am in my one year anniversary. This channel, Salon's Vlog, we are in our one year anniversary month. The month of July last year, uh, we, the third to the fourth week, we started this channel, dear friend. Yes, so we you thank God you are part of us right now. I'm excited because we are one year old in this month. Welcome to the channel. This is Salon's blog, and hey, it is just the beginning of great things to happen to come our way on this platform, on this channel. Be with us, share the video, like the video, and let me hear from you in the comment section, dear friend. Let's get started with this, dear friend. Today being first of July. Is the first official day of Enzo Maresca, Chelsea's head coach. Yes, Enzo Maresca will officially resume duty today, Monday, 1st of July. The first day of the month of July. And also the first day of the second part of the year. Enzo Maresca, Maresca begins work officially as Chelsea's head coach. Now... We can boldly post our questions to Enzo Maresca. We can boldly criticize him because he's officially starting work today. We are hoping for the official unveiling this week. And we're going to hear his interviews. And I'll be sure to bring you every detail, every word that he'll bring. That he's going to be speaking. Yes, 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 yes. Everything that Enzo Maresca will say during that unveiling is going to be a special unveiling. Hopefully this week. I'm not too sure when yet. It is the first day of his working duty at Chelsea, Cobham for that matter. Dear friend, let me know your expectations. What are your expectations for this season? Because we are we already starting the season, even though the window is still open. Once the coach is working, the coach starts working, our season begins from this moment. And hey, dear friend, I understand Leicester City will sign Michael Golden from Chelsea for a value of £5 million. Michael Golden was a make weight for Chelsea to sign Kenyan Dewsbury, as we did yesterday, I brought you that news to you yesterday. Yes, Michael Golden is our academy young star. The price that Chelsea value him is at five million pounds. Five million pounds. Yes. The 2006 born talent will leave Chelsea to join Leicester City in a separate deal after Ken Kenyan Dewsbury Hall move being completed for 30 million fee, meaning that. And in actual fact, we are getting Kenyan Dewsbury Hall. Kenyan Dewsbury Hall, we are getting him for 25 million pounds. It is what it is. Because even though it's a separate deal, all the plus and minuses, after everything, we are getting Dewsbury for Hall for 25 million pounds. We are doing a great business. We are into good business. Dear friend, we are not making losses at all. No, 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 no. no. Chelsea Football Club, our owners, they are doing great job when it comes to the transfer business. Because he's a great talent. He is a great talent. He's a great addition to the, to the club. All right. Dear friend, be quickly, it is your breakfast, and I'll not, not waste much of your time, but quickly before I let you go, Chelsea are following the Ricardo Calafiori situation. Yes, Chelsea are following Ricardo Calafiori situation. The defender, the defender from um, Boca Juniors, Internally, they want a talented left-footed defender for this summer. Internally, Chelsea are looking for 
a left-footed defender, left-footed defender for this summer. We are not going to buy a left-footed defender for the future. No, we are looking at a player that will hit the ground running now. So we are still monitoring the situation. I brought up this player, I think, two weeks ago. Yes, Ricardo Calafiore, he came into the news about two weeks ago. We spoke and learned about it. And he's coming back again. Not the future. Still looking at a striker and a winger. And Chelsea are also still looking at another striker and a winger. Dear friend, Chelsea are still looking at a striker and a winger. Meaning that right now, we want a striker, a winger, and a defender for the first team. A striker, a defender, and what? A winger for the first team. That takes me back. That takes me back. Dear friend, I will not waste much of your time this month. This is your breakfast. And this issue takes me back to this. Listen. Nico Williams. Nico Williams statistics. Nico Williams against Georgia last night. I wish you won that match. I don't know whether you see you won the match. You tell me. I have his statistics here. 69 touches for Nico Williams. One goal and one assist. You can see it on your screen right there. Five shots, two on target. 46 out of 46 accurate passes. That is 100% passes. 100% passes. Dear friend, four key passes. One big chance created. One out of one accurate long ball. That's 100%. One out of eight accurate crosses. 13%. Three out of eight successful dribbles. 4-11 ground duels, one tackle, one dribble pass. An amazing performance from the young Spaniard. Well, well I, I will say an amazing performance from the young Ghanaian. <laughs> Look, Ghana could not succeed in convincing him to play for, for, for a national team. His senior brother, yeah, he is playing for Ghana. His senior brother, direct one mother, one father, he's playing for Ghana. He chose, we couldn't succeed in convincing him. They were all in Ghana. We did everything possible to try to convince both of them. The senior brother accepted to play for Ghana. But Nico Williams says, no, 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 no. I want to represent Spain. I want to represent Spain. And so he's right in the Euros. He's one of the most, you know, the, one of the best players currently playing in this Euro 2024. An amazing performance from the young Spaniard. A goal and an assist on the biggest stage suits Nico Williams. Dear friend, should Chelsea... Go back and see if we can convince this young man. He, I believe that he is worth all the amount of if we have to pay for him. After all, we were being told that Chelsea is not limited in resources when it comes to paying of salary or salaries, but rather on player by player basis. They'll look at your statistics, your outputs, your inputs, they'll check it, and then they'll agree on terms with you. So what prevents Chelsea, we need a player like this on if we really need a winger for the first team. As a matter of fact, Moidrick is still available. Sterling is there. But the truth is we cannot rely on Moidrick alone. We cannot rely on Sterling for the coming season. That is just a fact. As, in fact, some of us, we want even Sterling to be sold out. We want Sterling to be sold out. We need someone who can bring competition in that left wing with Moidrick. He's very good. Moedrick, I mean, he does pretty well for his national team. But when he gets to Chelsea, the inconsistency sometimes. And we saw him perform better even in that number 10 role. During Mauricio Pochettino's tenure. We saw Moedrick performing better, coming, you know, cutting it into the number 10 role. You get it? So, honestly, Chelsea need a left-footed winger who, and right now, as we speak, Nico Williams is just the, the, the kind of player that Chelsea needs. Can we go back and give it a try? We understand the player is not willing to leave, but nothing is impossible. It's just about trying to convince him, dear friend. Or who else do you think Chelsea can sign in that position currently? Who else do you think, dear friend? Nico Williams will be a very big fish if Chelsea is able to get that job done. Well, before I let you go this morning, dear friend, you see, Quarterfinals, here we come. Germany versus Spain. That will be a cracker. Germany, Spain will be a cracker. Germany, Spain. Well, 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 well. It was an interesting game between Spain and Georgia. Georgia actually exploited Spain's weaknesses. Yeah, Georgia exploited Spain's weaknesses. And going to meet, going to meet Germany, 
George, uh, going to meet Germany now in the quarterfinals, Spain will have to be very careful because Georgia exploited the spaces in between the, def the defense of, uh, of Spain. Georgia was able to exploit it. The only thing is that they don't have the strength. You know, this is their first time of even getting to this big stage. Their first time of getting to this kind of stage. So they did quite well by even getting to the last 16. But then, Spain meeting Germany now in the quarterfinal will be a cracker. Spain will have to watch out. Well, host and win is Germany, actually. They also have their weakness in their wing side. On their wing side, actually. But then, home support will always be there for Spain, uh, for, for Germany. You know that host and win. Host and win. Let me make mention of English or England national team. <laughs> England national team, dear friend. I cannot mention the England national team without mentioning Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer, Cole Palmer, Cole Palmer. <laughs> yes, our own Cole Palmer, dear friend. Gary never has this to say about Cole Palmer. You see, he was still benched until the second half. Until things became very tough. When it was, you see, most necessary. In fact, when the whole England was calling for change, Gary Sargate was still being stubborn. And we saw it when Kopama came in, the difference he brought in. He made a difference. Forget about the goal that Jubelian uh, scored. Forget about the, goal, the goals. Forget about the goal that was scored. The one, the one who was more creative or who changed the whole game was Kopama. Finally, they began to swallow their weights. And this is what Gary never has to say. Everybody in the country has been crying out for more change. The same clamor will happen again for Kuopama and Trent Alexander Arnold to come in to create more balance and more excitement. To think you can go through a one month tournament playing the way we are doing is unrealistic. To think you can go through a one month tournament playing the way we are doing is unrealistic. Coming from Gary Neva. Finally, they are beginning to see value in Kopama. The same person. I don't want to go back. I don't have enough time. But thank God. <laughs> Kopama made, brought a change that made England. If you were to watch the game, you cry for England. Guess what? Slovakia was winning 1-0. 1-0. Slovakia, throughout the first half, it was Slovakia against England. Taking lead against England. England to struggle to get back into the game. My goodness. Well, dear friend, on this note, let me leave you. I'm so loaded, but I'll be back in the next few hours with more exclusives and explosives. Don't go too far away. Like the video, share the video, and let me hear from you in the comment section, dear friend. I'll see you in the next one when you see me. Shalom and peace.